Welcome to Screw the Commute, the entrepreneurial podcast dedicated to getting you out of the car and into the money with your host, lifelong entrepreneur and multimillionaire, Tom Antion. Hey, everybody, it's Tom here with episode 857 of Screw the Commute podcast. We're continuing with our copywriting series, and today we're going to talk about infographics. And of course, this is part of my copywriting901.com series. And if you like our training episodes, you can go to screwthecommute.com slash training. But this particular series is starting with episode 836. And anytime you want to get to a back episode, you go to screwthecommute.com slash and then the episode number starting at 836. Today is 857. And of course, grab a copy of my automation ebook at screwthecommute.com slash automate free and check out our mentor program at greatinternetmarketingtraining.com. All right, let's talk about infographic sales letters. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about this, but to really get the gist of this, you're going to need to go to the show notes when you can and look at some samples. And you can find loads of samples just by Googling infographics and then go to Google Images. But uh, the two that I'm going to talk about today are right there at screwthecommute.com slash infographics. And at the end, I'll also have some tools for you so you can make your own pretty much for free. All right, so here's the thing. This info, these infographics appeal to more visually oriented people, although they still have text on them so you can get the idea of what needs to be done or, or purchased. Some people say they appeal to a younger audience that are more visually oriented, but that's not for sure. But they're basically the same thing as your sales letter, just put in a different fashion, in a different format. It's going to have a headline. Uh, it's clear what it is. It's a product, what it is, a bunch of random benefits all over in boxes and stuff around the sales, uh, the infographic, tell what's in it. Uh, give more details, but they're broken up into little little snippets. And there's two examples on the page I'm showing you. One is for my school, which is just a direct comparison infographics from actually getting serious and going to a school and just playing around, you know, trying to find free stuff online. So it it outlines those things next to each other. And then the a wake them up speaking system one is all over the place with graphics little boxes you know some some people you know might drive them crazy the analyticals that want to read things direct you know boom 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 in a row this stuff is all over the place and more appeals to people that are you know uh, skimmers and in a hurry it also has a guarantee calls to action finance options you know so it's basically all the stuff that's in a sales letter but in a different format so you got to go look at them at screwthecommute.com slash infographics you can make your own and not be really graphically oriented now if you are you can make them in any kind of graphics program uh, canva is a free one that you can do but there's some that are specifically designed for infographics that give you templates that you just change the information and put in your stuff. So uh, there's one called visual.ly. Visually, it like, looks like, but it's visual.ly. There's another one, pictochart, P-I-K-T-O-C-H-A-R-T.com. And then this other one is dochippo, D-O-C-H-I-P-O.com, and then slash infographic dash maker. These will all be in the show notes for you, but this is a different way to show your products and services uh, by me, uh, to appeal to visual people. And of course, you would split test these against the written sales letters and see which one works best for your audience and your product. So that's all I got today. I'm, you know, this whole series of copywriting stuff, short things that are really powerful. You got to start at 836, screwthecommute.com slash 836 and take them one at a time and put the little elements into your sales process and you will sell more. All right, we'll catch you all in the next episode. See you later.